Hello there. This is Welsh ASMR. In today's football or soccer related ASMR video to help you relax and fall asleep, we are going to be looking and I'm going to predict, like what do I know, but I'm going to tell you where I predict the scores are going to be and the results are going to be in the next couple of rounds of the European Championship qualifiers got round 5 and round 6 to look at in today's video. As ever, I really hope that you find the video relaxing and also a little bit fun and informative. I'm going to be doing a little bit of rambling, talking about certain football teams and players and stuff. And if you could engage with the video if you're enjoying it by leaving a comment and maybe clicking like, that would be just so awesome. Thank you so much. Let's get started then. So on Thursday, it's round five, as well as on Friday and Saturday, and then round six of the next three days. So we have Kazakhstan against Finland. This is going to be a really telling game for the group as a whole. And I bet the Denmark are going to be watching quite carefully because they themselves have San Marino and an opportunity to get three points and try and catch up basically after their really slow start. They lost to Kazakhstan out in um, Kazakhstan and Kazakhstan are surprisingly towards the top of the qualifying round of uh, the table. Finland are also hoping to qualify. If Kazakhstan can win in round six. We're seriously considering Kazakhstan being in the top two of this group. However, if they lose and Finland win, then maybe it'll um, sort of put some doubts in their mind. If they can draw, maybe that'll be enough to keep the momentum going into the next round of matches. Kazakhstan are at home and I think a draw is probably the most likely. Um, Finland are a really good team. They can probably get a win out there, but I'm going to play it safe and say one all. Okay, Lithuania, Montenegro. Montenegro having a little bit of an upsurge. I really hate playing Lithuania um, when they are at home, though, because they are very dangerous. I'm going to say a draw is likely, but I'm going to hedge my bets and say Montenegro 2-1. Czechia against Albania. Albania are a decent team. Czechia I really rate. Um, I think Czechia would probably be too strong at home. So I'm going to say something like 2-0 to the Czech Republic. Denmark San Marino. Denmark have got goal scorers. San Marino are always difficult to break down for anyone that's not an absolute top team. There's this expectation you're always going to score six against them and it just doesn't happen in reality. I think Denmark will get two or three though, so let's say 3-0 to Denmark. Okay, massive game for the Irish. Away in France. This French team obviously runners up in the World Cup. They've just got their second string is better than most people's first string. They've got so much strength in depth. So, I'm really sorry Ireland, I'd love for you to get something out of this match and I think a draw is possible. I'm going to say a plucky performance from the Irish. France get a penalty or something late on in the match and it's 2-1. Okay, Netherlands, Greece. Greece are starting to get a lot better again, aren't they? And this Dutch team haven't found their identity yet. But at home, I do think they'll get the win. If it were away, I would think probably a draw. So I'm going to say something like 1-0 to 
to the Netherlands. Next up, Poland against Faroe Islands. This isn't straightforward at all. Faroe Islands are one of the most improved nations probably in the world. They can get results no matter where they are. However, this Polish team is pretty decent and I think that they'll win, but it won't be. Faroe Islands are not in the same class nowadays as, you know, your Andorras, your Liechtensteins. So I think Poland will only get a 1-0 victory over them. Okay, next up is Serbia-Hungary. This is a big match to neighbouring countries and a lot of stake, a lot at stake in this group. The most likely outcome is a draw. I'm going to say one all. Next up, Slovenia against Northern Ireland. Uh, sorry, Northern Ireland. I think this Slovenia side are really looking to try and qualify this year. Northern Ireland are in a sort of state of repair, regrouping and repairing. Also, terrible luck at the minute. Horrific luck. Where's that luck of the Irish, eh? Slovenia to win 1-0. Okay. So, Georgia and Spain are two teams trying to chase Scotland down in this group. I think Georgia at home will be really tough. I wouldn't be shocked if they got a result, but you've got to put your money on Spain, really. On paper, one of the best sides in the world. So I'm going to say 2-1 to La Roja, Spain. Bosnia have improved a lot recently. I should expect an easy win over Liechtenstein. I'm going to say 2-0 winners for the home team Bosnia and Herzegovina. Okay, on to Wales's group. Croatia, who have only played two games because they were in the um, Nations League finals. They are home to Latvia. Now, Latvia have proven to be a little bit tricky in this group so far. Wales beat them 1-0, had a couple of scares. Both Armenia and Turkey were drawing with them until injury time. So, this Croatia side isn't... I mean, they absolutely could walk all over them. But I think, even away from home, Latvia are full of surprises. Their ratio of shots to goal and goals is incredible. When they shoot, they score. So Croatia cannot be uh, complacent, but I think Croatia will probably win 2-0 or 2-1. Latvia seems to score in every match. It's bizarre. 2-1, I'm going to say. Um, Cyprus at home to Scotland. I think this Cyprus team are not as good as they were a couple of years ago when they were in Wales' group. One qualifying campaign... This Scotland team is the best I've seen in some time. I'm thinking an easy victory for Scotland. Probably 3-0 away from home. Luxembourg at home to Iceland. Do you know what the weird thing is? I actually think Luxembourg are the better of the two teams at the moment. I actually think Luxembourg are going to get a, a victory in this one. I'm going to say 1-0. Iceland are having a tricky time at the minute, but... I don't think it's ever been as good for Luxembourg football, so win to the Minnows. Next up, Slovakia against Portugal. Slovakia are doing pretty well at the minute, but Portugal, I've said many times on this channel, I rate as one of the best sides in the world. Therefore, I think Portugal are going to get a win here, maybe 2-1. Pivotal game next in Wales' group, Turkey against Armenia. Bit of a grudge match between two neighbouring countries. The opening match day, um, I think it was, it was either match day one or two, was Armenia at home to Turkey, and Turkey only just beat them. I think they will probably win again, but it's not going to be straightforward. I think Armenia definitely could get a draw. But I'm going to say 2-1 to Turkey. As a Welsh fan, I kind of hope they draw. It does this. Um, it's actually better for us. OK, 
campaign on Saturday, Azerbaijan home to Belgium. This Belgian team is really ticking at the minute. I know they don't have De Bruyne, um, but I would expect them to get an easy victory, more or less, out in Azerbaijan. I'm going to say 2-0 victory. Andorra at home to Belarus. This Belarus side has been surprising me a little bit. It's a young team. They've had to get rid of a lot of the old guard. Away to Andorra, I'm predicting a 1-0 win for Belarus. Estonia at home to Sweden. So, Estonia a couple of years ago managed to get a draw, a 0-0 draw with Wales in Cardiff. This Sweden team is a little bit in transition. I think they have to take care, but I think they'll get maybe one goal through Isaacson or something like that, and it'll be a 1-0 victory. They'll have all of the ball and all of the shots, but for some reason Estonia don't concede many goals. Oh, big game. Ukraine against England. In Ukraine definitely could win. They absolutely could get a draw. But also, the most likely outcome for me is England getting a, a win over Ukraine. I'm going to say 3-1. I'm going to say it starts really tight. Maybe Ukraine, England score first, Ukraine equalise, and in the second half, England just pull away from them. So 3-1 to England. Kosovo, Switzerland. Kosovo, this team can get big results. This is kind of, I bet quite a lot of the Swiss players um, have got Albanian and Kosovan heritage. So um, it'll be an interesting match. I think Switzerland, though, are, everyone sleeps on Switzerland. I'm not. I'm not fooled. I think they're a really top tier team. I think they'll win two now. Grudge, revenge match. Italy against North Macedonia. Macedonia, of course, put them out of the World Cup in that qualifier. And um, I didn't mean to click on that. <laughs> and I think Italy, the, the North Macedonians, aren't playing as well as they were. And I think Italy, even though they're in a bit of a transitional period themselves, should get the win. I'm going to say just something simple though, like 1-0. And lastly, Romania against Israel. Both teams doing well at the moment. I think Romania being at home and being in such good form edge this one for me. I'm going to say 2-1 to Romania. I would not be shocked at all if it were a draw uh, with that Israeli team though. Okay, you ready for round six then? I think this is going to be a really difficult test for Northern Ireland away against Kazakhstan. It'll depend on what the previous result is. I said, if they get the momentum of a draw or even a win against Finland, then I think Northern Ireland won't win. But if they lose that match against Finland, I can see their heads dropping a little bit. And maybe Northern Ireland can get something like a nil-nil draw. So I'm going to go for that, nil-nil. Faroe Islands are home to Moldova. This Moldova team are doing surprisingly well in this group. So as much as I rate Faroe Islands, Moldova, if they can continue the way that they were playing in the last window in the summer, they could nag, they could sort of just about get a 2-1 victory. Really important group game at this point. Finland against Denmark again. If Finland can get a win in the previous match, then Denmark are really chasing them. Top two do go through though, so I think Denmark, uh, they can win this match, but Finland at home, I'm going to say one all. Montenegro, Bulgaria, hmm, this is a really tough one, I think both sides are, I think Montenegro is better form at the moment than Bulgaria, so I'm going to say one nil to Montenegro. Albania at home to Poland. I say that I rate this Polish team at the moment. At the moment, so I'm going to say one nil to Poland. Greece at home to Gibraltar. I think Greece won't have any problems. Gibraltar have improved a lot, but this Greece team are finding their feet once again after some slim years. So I'm going to say two nil to Greece. 
Ireland's impossibly difficult group continues. They were away in France on match day five, match day six. They're at home to the Netherlands. I think they can get a point here, though. I think one all. Lithuania, Serbia. Again, Lithuania at home are difficult. The Serbia team does have some fantastic talent, though. I'm going to say 1-0 to Serbia. And I hinted earlier on that I've got the Slovenian team in my sights. I think that they're playing really well. I'm going to say 2-0 to Slovenia against San Marino. OK, Armenia, Croatia. Um, I'm kind of hoping that Croatia win all of their games. It kind of helps Wales. So I'm going to say 2-0 uh, to Croatia out in Armenia. So I hinted earlier on that I think Iceland are not doing very well and Bosnia are picking up. I think Bosnia can nick a 1-0 win out in Iceland in this one. Wales, Latvia. <laughs> I'm terrified, if I'm honest with you, because we could genuinely lose or draw uh, out in Latvia. Our form is just abysmal at the minute. We've got a friendly against South Korea at home early on in the week. Hopefully we can play with our tactics a little bit and give some uh, players a bit of time. I'm really happy Rabbi Matonto's in the team. He's doing well for Rangers at the moment. I'm hoping for a 1-0 win. That's all we need. I'm not asking for anything more. <laughs> we just need a win. Portugal-Luxembourg. I said Luxembourg are a pretty decent team, but Portugal one of the best in the world. I'm going to say 3-1 to Portugal. Slovakia, I said improved. I think they'll get a 2-0 win at home to Liechtenstein. Oh, and I clicked it. Israel, Belarus, for some reason. Hang on. Okay. Belgium, home to Estonia. I think it could be 3-0, 4-0. Um, I do think this Estonia team is pretty decent, but as I said, Belgium I really rate. Israel at home to Belarus. Both sides have improved a lot recently. It might mean that they cancel one another out. But I think a 2-1 victory for Israel is quite likely. Okay, to England's group, big match. Italy against Ukraine. Two of the contenders for qualification spots in that group with England. I think Italy might be too much for Ukraine, but I could definitely see Ukraine getting a point. So I'm going to say 2-1 to Italy. Malta home to North Macedonia. Neither team is playing very well at the minute. It might be a case of nil-nil with both teams not able to take advantage of playing Effectively, the two worst teams in the, the table. Okay, Norway. They've got some catching up to do in this group. They'll be disappointed with their performances so far. Georgia definitely have the potential to qualify from this group. That is going to be a very interesting tie. I think Norway will just edge it, though. 1-0, 2-1, something like that. So I'm going to go for a Norway win. Romania, Kosovo, same as I said earlier on, Kosovo decent, Romania, I've noticed they've improved heavily. It was a 2-1 win to Romania. And repeating what I said earlier, Cyprus, not impressed with them at the second. Spain, are oh, excellent on paper, lacking a bit of a striker, but... So I think they're going to win 2 or 3 now, despite that. Sweden, Austria. Wow, that's a tricky one to predict. Austria doing really well at the minute. Sweden, lots of potential, but they're not quite the final team yet. Might be a draw. Let's say one all. I wouldn't be shocked if Austria got the win, though. And last but not least, Switzerland home to Andorra. Could be 4-0. Uh, really rate the Swiss team at the minute. Okay, what do you think then? Do you think I'm crazy? Are you insulted <laughs> with my score predictions? 
let me know in the comments. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll do a follow-up video with the full results when we get to the other end of this international window. Come on, Wales. <laughs> we can't get any more embarrassed, can we? Okay, take care, sleep well, and I'll see you soon.